नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स ऑटोमोबाइल्स एंड अदर व्हीकल्स मेक पॉसिबल मूवमेंट ऑफ पीपल एंड गुड्स फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अदर दीज हैव मेड पॉसिबल ट्रैवलिंग टू डिस्टेंट प्लेसेस बीइंग यूज्ड बाय ह्यूमन बीइंग्स इट इज एसेंशियल दैट दीज आर सेफ इवन फॉर गुड्स कैरिंग व्हीकल इट इज एसेंशियल दैट गुड्स आर transported safely making safe vehicles is a top priority for auto manufacturers there are a number of devices for safety of passengers few commonly used devices in present automobiles include seat belts child seat and air bags seat belt Initially seat belts were lap type or shoulder type lap type belts used to embrace middle portion of human body shoulder type belts used to embrace chest of human beings later combination of two was introduced it was known as three point or y shaped belt it helped in spreading energy of moving body over chest pelvis and shoulder of human body in case of collision these have their end attached to door frame other end on upper side is attached to inertia lock retractor when belt is out completely retractor should lock automatically some seat belts are provided with tensioners that contain small explosive charge these detonate and tighten seat belt in case of severe impact on front side rear seat belts protect passengers occupying rear seats due to impact as seat belts act these are likely to lose their tension these must be checked for any damage and be replaced if need be without a hitch child seat child seat is meant for children naturally these can be rear or front facing or combination of both these have tether straps their ends are attached to anchors behind rear seat as a child is supposed to be on rear seat some cars have integrated child seat air bags in case of collision upper body of human being tends to move forward it is due to impact upper body of passenger may strike against dashboard or wind shield forcefully due to impact to avoid it air bags are provided that inflate quickly this creates a sort of air buffer and saves passengers from striking against dashboard or wind shield initial use of air bags revealed that inflated air bag covered face of passenger it did not allow passenger to breathe and caused even death modified design of air bag used presently deflates them quickly before any such harm is caused air bags may be provided on sides also this means better protection for passengers an accident in the form of collision can be very serious and even fatal there are certain situations such as another vehicle or animal coming in front suddenly quick reflexes of driver can save situation but still risk remains this made automakers to launch anti collision system 
in 2016 national highway traffic safety administration nhtsa and 20 automakers in usa decided to incorporate automatic braking system as a standard feature it may not prevent every collision or accident but can reduce it to an extent additionally concept of anti collision system was thought of and their development was initiated anti collision system timely detection of other vehicle or object may prevent collision earlier anti collision system involved use of rudder for detection adaptive cruise control was another system it used detection through laser another aspect of avoiding collision is to alert driver indication through some kind of light or sound or both can do it digital camera plays an important role in providing such indication small sizes make their use convenient these systems include forward collision warning blind spot warning cross traffic warning and lane tracing and departure warning forward collision warning if a vehicle comes in front sensors detect it and communicate to system it can also detect pedestrian on road system provides visual and audible warning that alerts driver it helps in situation when driver is distracted due to some reason blind spot warning a vehicle in neighboring lane may be in blind spot it may not be visible to driver switching turn indicator activates warning system and there is visual and audio alert it prevents driver from taking turn cross traffic warning if an object initially out of camera field appears to be moving in it activates cross traffic warning a visual on screen and a beep alerts driver lane tracing and departure warning system ensures that vehicle is in correct lane it uses markings on road and keeps vehicle in center of lane if driver crosses lane markings unintentionally this system provides visual and audio beep that alerts driver in addition to these manufacturers are providing a systems that ease driver during a hectic and long drive these systems incorporate sensors cameras laser and help to prevent collision or accident these systems include adaptive cruise control automatic high beam automatic emergency brake electronic stability control road sign assistance and parking assistance adaptive cruise control these systems control vehicle speed and maintain a safe distance from other vehicles these make use of rudder or laser to operate this relieves driver from stress to some extent automatic high beam system detects headlights or tail lights of vehicle ahead and automatically toggles between high and low beam automatic emergency brake if an object obstructs vehicle feedback from sensors activate brakes both front and rear brakes are activated to 
control vehicle motion and avoid collision electronic stability control during loss of traction sensors provide information about position that is monitored automatically this causes acceleration or deceleration to occur on different wheels this makes correction in vehicle steering and brings it back to proper lane road sign assistance a camera detects road signs and communicates to system system displays it on video panel in front of driver this provides information put on road signs such as stop speed limit do not enter and so on parking assistance cameras indicate position of vehicle that is continuously sensed it is shared with electronic processor this makes possible correct positioning of a vehicle in parking space while driver just controls speed of vehicle combining information from multiple sensors and systems processing it accurately and quickly is going to lead us all in an era of driverless car and that too quite soon engine management system for engine to work efficiently its different parameters are required to work in tune with each other it governs mpfi in spark ignition engines and crdi in diesel engines in fact it is a combination of large number of sensors relays and actuators that act together to gather vital data as engine runs this data is fed to an electronic control unit or engine control unit this data is analyzed and correction is applied to various components of engine this enhances efficiency of engine engine management system has electronic control unit as main component it is a programmable processor it collects data from various sub systems analyzes it and instructs corrections through various sensors being quick and accurate it processes input from various sensors in real time it also receives data from ignition switch throttle and fuel injection system main function of a system includes calculating and delivering correct fuel air mixture regulate idle engine speed and limit vehicle speed referring to diagram that presents various functions of an electronic control unit beginning from block at top it is connected to throttle positioning sensor position of throttle is sensed and conveyed accordingly fuel air ratio in fuel mixture and spark timings are adjusted as per engine load next there is exhaust gas temperature sensor on right side overheating of components due to excessive heat may damage them sensor provides corrective action and saves components from overheating then there is manifold absolute pressure sensor it monitors amount of fuel and ensures its delivery accurately it helps to achieve correct fuel air ratio vehicle speed sensor next to it determines speed of vehicle and assists driver in selection of gear cam position sensor determines position of cam and thus position of piston 
fuel is required to be injected at a particular instant determined by position of cam it provides command for fuel injection at required instant oil pressure sensor monitors engine oil if its quantity is reduced below specified level an indicator on dashboard alerts driver further moving towards left bottom there is a knock sensor it detects spark knock and protects engine from it oxygen sensor checks amount of oxygen in exhaust gases and tunes fuel air ratio it helps in reducing harmful emission crank position sensor controls spark timing and fuel delivery as per engine speed engine temperature sensor keeps an eye on ignition and emission from engine and provides corrective action it is helpful in getting clean emission air flow sensor monitors amount of air that enters it assists in achieving accurate fuel air ratio abs is anti lock brake system sensor here prevents locking of brakes and skidding of vehicle in addition to this electronic control unit provides a signal to variable valve timing alternator fuel pump radiator fan and air conditioner through relays and amplifiers in vehicles with diesel engine there is diesel particulate filter differential pressure sensor in addition to sensors mentioned it is abbreviated as dpf sensor diesel particulate matter is deposited on filter it requires cleaning this sensor signals cleaning of filter by monitoring exhaust gas back pressure here discussion for present lecture concludes thanks for watching